What's going on guys, it's Tom here, and in this video I wanna show you what I think is probably one of the easiest, but also one of the most powerful um, multi-platform live streaming tools out there. And I wanna say this up front because I know it's an, as annoying as hell. This is not an affiliate video. You will not find any affiliate links in the description below. So you know this is my honest and unbiased opinion. I'm not being paid to say this. This is just my review from using the tool day to day and the impact that it's had on our business and our ability to do live streams and connect with our audience. So let's get straight into it. So I've got StreamYard open in front of me now. So one of the things that I really, really love about StreamYard, if you're considering using it, is that it allows you to very easily plug in um, and choose from any number of your social channels, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, YouTube, you can do Facebook groups if you have a group, and you can cast to up to um, three of those platforms. I think if you have the paid plan, you can actually cast to eight of them at a time. So um, I'll just show you now, like, uh, where are we? So yeah, I'm on the basic one. So you can multi-stream to three destinations, which basically means you can go live to three of these places at the same time. If you pay for the professional one, which isn't that much, so it's $39. Um, in comparison, it's obviously double the price, but um, you can stream to eight destinations at a time, right? So this is gonna be for, you know, if you've got a big presence across a lot of different channels, but the main thing you wanna ask yourself is, do you really need to be going live to all of these platforms, right? Maybe for a lot of people, they tend to have the biggest audiences in, you know, maybe one or two or three channels. If you've got a huge audience across multiple channels, maybe the professional one is for you. So it's really gonna depend on, on what you need it for. Um, the other thing that I love about it, and I think they've just increased this recently, is you can also invite um, on-screen participants. And I'm gonna show you how all of this looks in a second. Um, but just to talk about the actual setup process for a bit, it's so easy to get started. Like when you first log into StreamYard, you literally go into your destinations and you start syncing up your accounts, right? So you click add a page, add a LinkedIn page, YouTube channel. You can even add a custom RTMP feeds, which means if you want to use, um, you know, something like OBS Studio, for example, or one of those live streaming platforms, you can plug that into it as well. Um, but if you're just looking to for a tool that can stream your social media platform, this is a, a really, really great place to start. So you'll see you can add in groups here, you can add in pages, you can add in your personal profiles. And then when it comes to creating a broadcast, you simply just select which ones you want to go live to and you put in a title and a description. You can also do something that's really cool and you can click schedule for later. And this will actually allow you the ability to upload a thumbnail image. Right, so it will actually post it and give people a countdown timer and say, hey, Tom is going live at 2 p.m. today and people can click the button on Facebook or on LinkedIn um, to get a reminder when you're going live. So this is a really, really cool feature. Um, one thing to mention here, and this isn't a limitation of StreamYard, this is more the platforms themselves, but you'll see um, it says here, Facebook doesn't allow starting more than 10 minutes late. There are also platforms like LinkedIn, if you have LinkedIn Live, um, you will find that you can't actually, I think you have to schedule it an hour in advance. So just some little things to be aware of there, but again, this is limitations on the, on the social media platforms, not for StreamYard itself. So um, another thing that I will just mention, actually something that you can do if you wanted to, is um, there is a way that you can actually just schedule these as recordings only. Um, so you don't actually, so you'll see here, record only. So you don't even have to stream to any of these platforms, right? So you just click skip record only. So if you did wanna use it just to record a video presentation or a screen share to upload later, you can absolutely do that. Um, but let me just show you how this looks as a test. So I'm just gonna say test, test, create broadcast here. And it will basically bring you into the broadcast studio. And this is great because, you know, I don't have tons of experience with um, streaming. I'm, you know, I don't have any video editing experience. So for me, it's been really, really useful. Um, so you'll see here, it brings up a camera. You can then um, turn off the camera. You can mute, you can change, um, you know, which camera you're using. You can change your microphone. You've got green screen options here as well, where you can set different backgrounds. 
um, and then you just put in your name here. And then if we actually go into the studio, you see you've got a whole load of really cool features here. So this is where you can invite people. So you can have up to 10 guests on at a time, which is a really cool feature. So if you are going live, you can copy this link and you can actually drop it in the chat, in the comments that go out to all of your platforms, right? Really cool feature. So if you wanted people to hop on and join you, you can do that. Or if you're inviting a guest, you can either email them the link or send it through WhatsApp so they can come in and join you live. And then as the, the host, of the live, so to speak. You've then got the option to add people into the stream. So as your guests join, you will see them at the bottom here and you then literally just click on add to stream and it will then add that. Obviously it's not coming out of me because I turned the camera off, um, but you'll see there it pops up. The other thing um, that you can do is you can add and remove people whenever you want. You can choose different screen layouts if you want to have a side by side split screen. Um, you can even do backgrounds as well. So if you follow Gary V, if you ever saw any of the tea with Gary V, he did. He had a background image and then he had these little boxes so you can have your own branded stuff. Um, if you want to do share screen, you've got the option to do that. So, you know, again, this is just really about shifting the layout and you can do this all on the fly as well. Right. So it's really, really cool. Um, this is great. This basically gives you the ability to check incoming comments. Doesn't always work. Like I've noticed on LinkedIn, it's a bit temperamental. I think that might be a LinkedIn limitation, but I have noticed with Facebook, it doesn't always work as well. And one thing to mention here is if you're going live in a group, people I think have to click on a link and, and confirm that they're okay before their name will actually show up. So it will just come up as like Facebook user um, if you're streaming to a group. When you do it on your personal profile, it seems to come through fine, but just something to be aware of there. Um, so another really cool thing you've got is banners. So you can actually schedule these. So I use a lot of these, um, you know, when I do like live shows and stuff, I've got preset ones that I can just click on. So this kind of lets people know as they're scrolling through their feed, they know what it is you're talking about, right? So this can be a great way when you're going live to grab people's attention. You've also got these little sliders. So again, you can just have call to actions in here. You can say, hey, visit my website, drop a comment below all of those kind of things. So really cool, um, cool little tools there. Now, another thing you can do is on uh, the branding side. So this allows you to do things like put your logo up there. Um, you can create overlays. And what I'd suggest you do, and what I did is just create some in Canva, right? So you'd have a transparent background in Canva. So head over to canva.com create a transparent background and then just put these little overlays at the top of the screen. You'll also see here, it gives you a recommended size, right? So 1280 by 720. So if we were to go into Canva, you just need to create something with the custom dimensions of 1280 by 720 and then put those transparent logos and things like that on the top right, top, you know, bottom right or wherever you want it on the image. Um, the only thing that's worth being mindful of is, again, some platforms are like Facebook, for example, I think the live thing comes up on the left hand side. So just make sure in advance, check where that comes up, because otherwise you might end up covering up your logo. Another really cool thing you can do, which I love, is you can actually upload video clips. So if you wanted to have an intro video, they actually have one preset here. So it gives you a countdown timer. So it's a really, really cool little uh, tool there that to, you know, to build up some anticipation as you're going live, you can set backgrounds. Um, so this was one I had that was called Toast with Tom. Um, it was a bit of a nod to Gary V's tea with Gary V back in the day. But you can start to see like how powerful this can be as a tool and how accessible it is, like even for beginners, like even someone like me who doesn't have all this streaming experience, very easy to just get it up and running um, to begin with. And here's a place here you can chat privately with your guests. So if you need to say, you know, shut the F up, we're, we're wrapping up in two minutes. Um, you can chat privately with your guests as well. So that's really cool. Um, you've got settings here as well. So this is just gonna be things like, you know, uh, audio avatar, shift comments up, green screen, stuff like that. So it's a really, really powerful platform. Now, the only real negative that I'd have with it, um, 
I mean, I've, I've been nitpicking really, but it, it does frustrate me sometimes that when I'm logging in from different browsers, it has this two-factor authentication thing enabled by default. So it has to send a, you know, a code to your email. You then have to put it in. And, you know, it, it's definitely more secure, but it can be a bit frustrating if you're logging on from different laptops and browsers. It's a little bit annoying. Um, you know to have to do that every time but that's really the only only other thing I could say um, so and then the only other thing really is just you know picking the right plan for you the other great thing about it as you'll see here they've actually got um, a free trial that you can get started with just to play about with the tool but it obviously doesn't give you that multi streaming capabilities right and you get the stream yard branding as well but if you just want to stream live to Facebook great place to get started with or maybe you know youtube or whatever it is um, but if you want to start casting to multiple at the same time then you'll need to look at you know the basic or above um, so that's it I, I really hope that's helped i hope that's given you a bit of an insight if you do have any questions for me feel free to drop them in the comments below as i say i can only really speak into the basic plan i haven't used the professional one yet but if you've got any questions yeah feel free to drop them in the comments and if you like the video please be sure to give it a like to help support the channel and if you got value from this and you want to see more videos in relation to marketing to really help you grow your business and elevate it to new heights be sure to hit that subscribe button i put out content like this on a weekly basis and i will speak to you guys again very soon.